So how are you doing this maniacs? I'm here to talk to you about the Sea Lion MD4 a little bit. Um, usually when I get a new disc to try out, I try and do the review pretty soon that you will get it first hand. But as this time there were so many good reviews on YouTube early on, I decided to get acquainted with the disc a little more and then really see what options it opens up for my game. So I've had this particular disc for two weeks now. And I've played this local seven hole pitch and pot course maybe like 10 times with it. And so that gave, gives me already almost 100 throws. And uh, last Friday, a week ago, me and my friend did a little bit crazy marathon of uh, uh, 238 distinct holes played in 19 hours. So we played 18 different courses throughout the day. And mostly I played with only my putter, his disc and then two drivers. So I, I was using this MD4 for quite a bit of those throws. So I think I can confidently say I have something like 400 shots with this disc and it shows already a little bit wear and tear on it. And that has taught me quite a bit about the disc and the different lines it can do. So in the following shot clips you will see different shots that I am uh, comfortable throwing this disc with. And it did really surprise me how versatile it is. So it's not a one trick pony that can do only big overstable shots that fade out of the sky very soon but um, with correct angle it can do all sorts of things so uh, if you look at those shots that you will soon see and uh, imagine me throwing a gator for example you can imagine how hard pressed I would be trying to manage those shots with something so overstable but judge for yourself We'll see some shots from the local pitch and pot right now. So there you have a collection of shots that I throw with this disc. And as you can see, it can do quite a bit of different lines. And uh, I've grown used to it so fast now that it's uh, definitely in the bag. I took out my really overstable meter range out of the bag. It's This is not as overstable as that one is, but with correct uh, amount of uh, Hyzer, it can do those tricks also. And actually, because of the added glide, uh, it does move pretty far uh, sideways on a hyzer line. So instead of a really overstable disc that it would seek the ground as soon as it can, uh, this can get you around obstacles real nicely. So it's definitely in the bag, and it ousted my overstable mid range. And it might be also that the S-Line P2 is in danger now, because I I can throw so many different types of approach shots and drives with this that I'm not sure if I need the S-Line P2 anymore, but time will tell. And there's a, in the bag a comprehensive one coming later, but first I gotta see if the up-and-coming P3X will also make it until I do um, complete in the bag. But for now, um, if you're looking for those, for those lines that you saw in the video, uh, check one out. It's a really 
the disc I was uh, most waiting for this season and so far it has lived up to those expe expectations and that I uh, expect that it will stay in the bag for year on end. So have fun, go out and throw, try the new discs from Disc Mania.